Hey, everybody. Remember the video? Uh, it's been a while. Oh my gosh, like really a long time. Remember the video where the husband had uh, bought that house with his wife's money and she was not happy at all? Okay. And we showed when he met with the realtor, which I'm not understanding why the re realtor would not say, hey, where's your wife? You know, if her name is on the house. But ladies, and this caption said, she don't respect her husband. She ungrateful. It's her money. This is what happens when you date beneath you, let alone when you marry a dusty boo. This is what happens when you're the breadwinner. You call yourself, I'm going to pick him up because I love him and I'm going to show him. No, I keep telling you, they're going to show you. She don't respect her husband. So look at this part right here and listen to what he's saying. The roots are not saying anything. Listen to what he's saying. She's saying it's over. It's her money. He didn't say our. He's not refuting that it's not her, her money. He's not saying it was our money. You know, like he put something in too. He just says what's his is hers or some, some kind of BS like that. But listen to what is being said. So he bought the house with her money. And they've closed on it. And I think the realtor just wants to make a deal. But again, she should have lawyered up. But he's bought the house. It, it's a done deal. And she's saying he's not staying here. If it is, it's over. Listen to his response. But you're going to bid you up your cane. You're going to show him. No, boo. They're going to show you. Mm. I'm not going to get these keys or whatever from him because you're going to sell this house. I'm not going to get a lawyer. I'm not you know what I'm doing saying? it. Chill out. Go get my money. Go put your hands on me. Go get my money. Go right, get this is your shell, put your hands me. on me. Chill out. Okay, just listen. Get, I don't saying. care. Everybody gonna see this. I don't care. Get my money back because you're disrespectful. Right, you will be left in the way of the world. Get my money back. He's not staying here. You're not staying here. Put the keys because I will get a lawyer. I will get a lawyer. You did not get my signature on this house. Where are we gonna stay? I don't know. I figured out. You figured out. I'm staying here. You're not staying here. If you stay here, it's over. I already signed it already. It's over. If you stay here, it's over. If you stay here, it's over. So you hear that? She said, if you stay here, it's over. After he had Lord, but y'all gonna wake up. After he has bought a house with her money. Her money. And someone said that she's a beautician, so she's an entrepreneur. So after he has bought a house with her money, it's in his name because he signed the paperwork. He said it's over then. And baby, he must be on your account. This is what happens when you marry somebody, get with somebody who has nothing and nothing to lose. He said, it's over then. He got him a place. He has bought a house. It's over then. What does that tell you? He never did want you. I keep telling you, you're a resource. You can find a lawn if you want to and date somebody beneath you. Don't be surprised something like this happen. I'm staying here to get a lawyer. Call a lawyer. Whatever you gotta do. I signed the paperwork. Your money is just, just as good as my money. My money is just good as your money. That was her crying. That's what I'm saying. You think that barbershop money got me? It's my money. We still here. I'm not giving the keys. I'm not saying. Chill out. Go get my money. Put your hands on me. Go get my money. Go get. This is your shell. Put your hands on me. Chill out. Okay, just listen. Get, no, I don't man. care about it. I don't care. Get my money back because you're Everybody disrespectful. All right, bro. Get, you will be left in the way of the world. Get my money back. He's, he's not staying here. You're not staying here. Put the keys because I will get a lawyer. I will get a lawyer. You did not get my signature on this house. Where are we going to stay? I don't know. I figured out. Right. You figured out. I'm staying here. You're not staying get here. Your if you stay here, it's over. Already signed it already. It's over. If you stay here, it's, it's over. over. If you stay here, it's, it's over. over. It's a lawyer. I'm staying here. I'm staying here. Get a lawyer. Call a lawyer. Whatever you gotta do. I signed the paperwork. Your money is just, just as good as my money. My money is just good as your money. It's all her money. 
And then it was about somebody being a gold digger. If anything, a black woman ain't no gold digger. She d- digging for dust. Because if she does, she will be digging for a black man. They want to holler somebody as a gold digger. You ain't got no gold. You got dust. So, yeah, this is what happens when you miss career business woman. Pick up low hanging fruit. Pick up a broke down dust bucket. I keep telling you, they need your resources. He said, then it's over then. Girl, he don't need you no more. And see, for him to write that check, his name has to be on that account. His name has to be on that account. You can go ahead and listen to these mammies if you want. Good luck is not working out for you. Go ahead and listen to these mammies if you want. I can't believe it. So that he must, I don't understand. How the hell you got your name on the account? Are you, uh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. Who didn't learn? Married or not? Everybody's different. So his name has to been on her account to write that check. So he basically bought a house with her money in his name. And now he's sending this over with. Go get a lawyer. Honey, if his name is on that account as joint, ain't nothing you can probably do. If his name is on that account. So he has bought himself a house with all her money. Yo, Kang. I'm going to show him. He has bought himself a house with her money. Now I got the nerve to say, then let's go get a lawyer. It's over with. Stop crying. I'm staying. I'm staying here. He he didn't say we. Of course she didn't sign. He signed the paperwork. He bought himself a house with her money. And now he can say, oh, it's over with. Wow. This is what happens when you pick up a man that don't have CHIT. He ain't got shit. He ain't got shit. I keep on telling you, when they have something, you see what they do. But black women are so loving and so forgiving and so hard-headed. He has nothing. So what's it's over with? After he leaves with a house, he, he, just, he signed the paperwork. So they must have a joint account. His name must be on her account. Lord have mercy. And he has bought himself a house with her money. And she's upset. And look, he's trying to protect himself. That's why I got the camera, y'all. Don't put your hands on. Don't put your hands on me. (laughs) I don't, I, I, he's trying to protect himself. So in other words, she puts a hand on him. He want to have it on film. Catch that part so he can call the police and put charges on him. And then she's a beautician out a beauty shop or whatever, a barbershop, whatever she got going on for herself. Don't you have a license for that? Setting you up, girl. But she got a cane. She got a man, though. He has bought himself a house with her money. And what it seems to me, he wrote the check, must be a joint account, but he said he signed. He signed. And this food to my shit and respect to her husband. Girl, oh, it's her money. He has bought himself a house. It's her name is not on it. His name is on it. But it's her money. He bought himself a house. Black women gonna learn today. Oh, you don't understand. Oh, I understand real well. You don't understand. What's he gonna? I keep telling you. They uh, they need you as a resource. So he bought himself a house with her money. And she's saying it's over. He's saying it's over then. Go get a lawyer. Stop crying. Stand there crying. It's all her money. And you thought he loved you. You thought he loved you. I just don't see how you can get with a man that can't provide, can't do anything. You got to carry him. Oh, hell to the no. You. <laughs> I need to be able to fight for a little bit. Uh, we would, uh, yeah, I would have definitely, um, his name on the account, just open up a whole new account and just transfer that money. And I said, I don't, I don't understand. 
I don't understand. Keep on getting God. So now, girl, you have given him your all, your husband. What do you do? What do you do? And look how selfish he is. Didn't even tell her about it. He bought a house, y'all. They, boy, they keep playing these back women left and right. He bought a house. It's in his name. He signed. Well, who house the name is in? The one that signed his? Wow. They need you as a resource. And it's still community property. That's what he doesn't understand, old dumb dumb. It could be in your name. But if they're married, it's still community property. It was, it was about doing the marriage. How are you going to sell a house? Here, ruin any sale. I would, uh, I would be at my lawyer's. I'd be calling, and I would file for divorce papers. Then what I would do, try to get a TRO as quickly as possible. Notice he had that camera saying, "Don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me." He's trying to set her up. I, I mean, I, I don't get it. Black women just, oh my gosh. He trying, girl, don't put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. That's why I got the camera. In case she does, I got the film. I press charges. Wow. Then he's like, where are we going to go? So they must have stopped the lease wherever they were living. And she said, not nah, we'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. You hear all that? I'll figure it out. Because we know who's the decision maker. We know who's holding it down. Where are we going to go? Let me know what you all think. This will be part two. Simply said on YouTube, and thanks for watching.